Welcome to Hofstra Today. We spoke to Pride Network and UNICEF Hofstra about their spooky Halloween events. Fatima Moen hosts our first ever costume contest with our crew. And we get to sit down with Hofstra's cast of Rocky Horror Picture Show. All that and more at and around Hofstra Today. Welcome to Hofstra Today. I'm Bella Labu. And I'm Alexa Servo. So, how special and fun is it that our first episode together is the Halloween episode? I gotta say, I absolutely love Halloween. It's gotta be one of my favorite holidays. So the fact that my first time ever for Hofstra Today is a Halloween episode, it feels, it feels kind of like it was written in the stars. I'm really excited about it. I'd have to agree with you. And as angel and devil, do you think it's fitting? I don't, I don't know about that one. I feel like we I, should switch. We probably should uh, yeah. switch headbands at some point, huh? Mm -hmm. but switch costumes. I'm definitely a big Halloween lover myself, but I got to say my favorite fall holiday is definitely Thanksgiving. Oh, we're coming up on it. It's yeah. about a month away now. No Getting expectations. Ready. You just walk in and eat. Like, hello, And obviously. you know what? Look, like I said, every day I'll walk into any family member's house and eat their food. So... Nothing, nothing, nothing crazy is going to change, you know, but at least it's acceptable on You know what? <laughs> Why not, right? So let's just get on into today's news at Hofstra. Hofstra's 2023 Day of Dialogue will be taking place today, October 25th, until 7.30 p.m. This year's subject is Building Hope in Trying Times. Presenters will cover topics ranging from commentaries on race and immigration to human trafficking. These events are free and open to the public. Advanced registration is required and individual events must be registered for separately. On October 18th, the National Coalition of 100 Black Women, Long Island Chapter, and Hofstra University presented the 2023 Meet the Candidates Forum. The event, held in conjunction with the Hofstra Votes campaign, took place in the Helene Fortunoff Theater on Hofstra's campus. Attendees heard from candidates on important issues for Nassau and Suffolk counties, including local government services, community development, and racial equity. As a part of Hofstra Law's Mental Health Week, the Health Law Society, Hofstra Law Women's Society, and the Office of Student Affairs recently took part in making strides against breast cancer annual walk. This event took place at Jones Beach on October 15th, featuring notable turnouts from the Hofstra Dance Team and DanceWorks organization. The event raised funds for breast cancer research, so thank you to all who walked and donated in support of this cause. Today, the Center for Career Design and Development is hosting its Fall Career and Internship Fair for all majors. This exciting event will take place in the Mac Arena from 1 to 3.30 p.m. Students will have the opportunity to meet with employers recruiting for full-time, part-time, volunteer, and internship opportunities. Those who attend should dress professionally and bring copies of their resume. Music Fest made its comeback this past weekend. Hosted by Hofstra Concerts in the Mac Arena from 7 to 11 p.m., the show was hosted by Hofstra Concerts, a campus music organization. The event showcased performances from artists Ski Mask, The Slump God, Cupcake, Femdot, and Hofstra's own Official X and The Nice Guys. This week, the Pride Network hosted a drag o lanterns Halloween event. Field reporter Kai Yale met up with some members to learn about the organization and check out their work. Let's take a look. We're here today with Jonas from the Pride Network. We are here at their drag o lanterns event. So tell me a little bit more about the Pride Network. What do you guys do? Okay, so um, the Pride Network is Hofstra's largest LGBTQ plus organization on campus. We do a mixture of educational and social events for our members, and our main sort of goal is just to provide a safe space for queer students and allies on campus just to feel represented and heard. We are here at this nice event. You've got all this stuff laid out. What was some of the planning process like for you guys to make this happen? 
We had an e-board meeting uh, the weekend of fall break and we just kind of brainstormed like what would we want to do if we were members. Um, Halloween, queer people love Halloween so we thought we'd had to tie it into that. Um, so it was just like a brainstorming session and then we just this weekend went over to Target and Walmart, picked up some craft supplies, wigs and pumpkins and it's spreads right there. So we're here with Aiden. Aiden, um, tell me why a club like the Pride Network is important to have on Hofstra's campus. Yeah, I mean the Pride Network, having a sense of community within the queer community is something that's really important to us. College campuses are where people find themselves and identity is a really responsible part of that experience, an important part of that experience. So I think having something like the Pride Network is really important because we need representation on campus, but we also need people to find others like them as well. Tell me, what's the thought process behind the pumpkin a little bit? What are you guys planning on doing for your drag-o-lantern? We're going for more of like an icy, abominable Yeti kind of deal, but definitely, you know, serving. Definitely like very drag. We actually just booked the Adams Playhouse for a drag show in May, so we're going to be doing that. We're really excited about that. We did that last year. This year we have way bigger of a budget and there's going to be a way bigger turnout, we hope at least, so we're really excited for that. And just doing some more general programming like with the Career Center and other queer identifying faculty members who want to see themselves represented in our programming as well. I was going to say, is there some sort of a red carpet you have prepared for us tonight then? I mean, not a red carpet per se, but more so a judges table. Um, we're gonna see if our members can like walk them down, sort of like strut the pumpkins down the runway, and then just judge them based off that. It's gonna be a great time. Looks like a really fun event from the Pride Network and great work on those drag lanterns. Thanks for sitting down with us. Now you can join Barbie and her friends as they take the trip of a lifetime. Greta Gerwig's newest film, Barbie, will be playing in Pride Park this Friday, October 27th at 8 p.m. This event is free of charge for all Hofstra students. No advanced registration is required. The Department of Drama and Dance and the 75th Annual Shakespeare Festival present The Merry Wives of Windsor, a Shakespearean comedy about marriage, wealth, jealousy, and lies. Come to the John Cranford Adams Playhouse on Friday, October 27th, Saturday, October 28th, Friday, November 3rd, and Saturday, November 4th at 8 p.m. and on Sunday, October 29th at 2 p.m. to see their performance. Hofstra Student Health Services will be hosting a flu vaccination clinic on Wednesdays throughout the rest of October and November. Come to Hofstra USA today, October 25th, November 1st, and November 8th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. This clinic is free to all Hofstra students. Advanced registration is required at hofstra.edu slash flu clinic. Join the Department of Music for Hofstra's annual Octuba Fest, a celebration of the tuba featuring student and faculty solo performances and Hofstra's own tuba euphonium ensemble. The event, directed by Michael Salzman, takes place October 28th in the Helen Fortunoff Theater from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. This event is free and open to the public. No advanced registration is required. Join Samuel G. Friedman for the 20th Annual Great Writers, Great Reading Series. Friedman, an award-winning author and former columnist for the New York Times, will be discussing his extensive work in writing books, including his newly released book titled Into the Bright Sunshine, Young Hubert Humphrey and the Fight for Civil Rights. This event will take place in the Goodhart Cultural Center Theater on October 26th from 4.20 to 6 p.m. Advanced registration is required on the Hofstra Events website. Don't go away, we'll have more Skella fun after the break with your national news update.
Alicia Hofstra today. Let's fly on over to Antonio Schoenhart to hear some batty national news. The GOP nominated Representative Mike Johnson for the Speaker of the House position today. Johnson served as a representative for Louisiana's 4th Congressional District and has since 2017 and is the party's fourth pick for House Speaker since the ousting of Kevin McCarthy three weeks ago. The House of Representatives has been without a Speaker for 21 days. They convened at noon today and may have held a floor vote to determine Johnson's potential new role. Results have not been announced. A 21-year-old woman passed away after drinking a Panera Charged Lemonade, a drink that contains 390 milligrams of caffeine for a large, which is more than cans of Red Bull and Monster Energy combined. Sarah Katz of Pennsylvania had a heart condition called Long QT Syndrome Type 1 and was unaware that the drink she was consuming contained that amount of caffeine. The parents of Katz have filed a lawsuit saying that the company, quote, failed to properly warn consumers of the dangers of the Charged Lemonade and falsely marketed the drink as clean. Sarah Katz was a junior at the University of Pennsylvania. 31-year-old Portuguese dog Bobby has passed away this past Friday after being recognized by the Guinness World Records as the oldest dog to ever live. Bobby has had quite the publicity and even surpassed 23-year-old Chihuahua Spike. Bobby spent his entire life with his loving owner Leon La Costa and the family in the Portuguese village of Conqueiros. This old fellow was a purebred Rafeiro do Alentejo, a breed that typically only lives 12 to 14 years. Costa says that the, he lived so long due to his, quote, calm and peaceful lifestyle and an all-natural diet. Born on May 11, 1992, in dog years, he was 86 years old. Here at Hofstra University, chapter of UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund, recently held a Halloween bash in support of children all over the world. Reporter Sarah Ng brought us behind the scenes of the event. Let's take a look. We're here outside of the Halloween Bash hosted by Hofstra's UNICEF chapter. It's been crazy. It's been super fun. We've all worked really well together to make sure the event was well coordinated. And at the end of the day, all the money goes back to the children. So everything we make tonight is a really, really nice thing to do. I like the live music. I'm a musician myself. So tonight having live music here was a really big important thing for me because I know in past events there hasn't been enough like action, enough like hype at the event. So we were excited to bring in some Hofstra Concerts people to do some live music for us. Favorite part is just working with the people. Um, not only the e-board, but I think the club, the club uh, itself, we have a lot of great people. Um, and just, you know, the weekly meetings meeting and working on uh, planning for future events or just, you know, uh, planning for the future. It's just, it's, 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 it's fun working with good people. Um, it's a positive atmosphere, so, yeah. Well, so far I've had the amazing opportunity to meet two other amazing musicians. Uh, I have three songs. One, it was a very good year. I have At Long Last Love, and finally One For My Baby, which is more of a sad saloon song. What is your favorite part about Halloween? The costumes, obviously. Like, I, every year I'm a witch, and I'll probably go to school as a witch on Halloween again. To, um, today we're doing, like, totally cheap, just out of our closet costumes of um, uh, the 11th Doctor and River Song from Doctor Who, uh, because we had the stuff. Um, <laughs> but most of the time, I like to go all out with, like, witchy costumes. For Hasha Today, I'm Sarah Ng. And thank you so much to UNICEF for letting us get an inside look at that Halloween bash. It looked like a lot of fun. Stick around for some fabulous weather updates with Jake Epstein. Dad. Just one minute, okay? Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look!
Welcome back to Hofstra Today. Jake Epstein's got pumpkin to talk about with this week's weather. Thanks, Bell and Alexa. I'm Jake Epstein here with your five-day weather forecast. Today has brought mostly cloudy skies so far, and we can expect those clouds to stick around for the rest of the day. Temperatures will reach a high of 68 and a low of 50. Thursday will bring sunny skies for most of the day. Temperatures will reach a high of 73 and a low of 54 degrees. Later in the day, the skies will be overcast for your commute home. Now let's take a look at how the rest of the week will take shape here in Hempstead. On Friday, you can expect mostly cloudy skies with temperatures reaching a high of 73 and a low of 60. Saturday looks like the perfect day to hit up your local pumpkin patch because you'll see mostly sunny skies with temperatures reaching a high of 78 and a low of 60. On Sunday, you'll see cloudy skies all day with temperatures reaching a high of 67 and a low of 57. You might want to get your Halloween celebration in during the weekend because rain is forecasted for Halloween day. As the weather gets cooler, we here at Hofstra today are getting in the spooky spirit. Let's bring it over to Fatima Moen here in studio as she hosts our first ever costume contest. Thanks, Jake. My name is Fatima Moen, and I'll be hosting and judging Hofstra today's first ever costume contest. We're going to go around the studio and ask some of our crew members what they got on for Halloween. We're going to start off right here. What is your name? What position are you on the crew? And what are we wearing today? Hello, my name is Jay. I'm one of the stage managers here, and I am currently Walter White, a.k.a. Heisenberg. Love it. And I mean, I, I got to say, you can be a plethora of things. I was thinking detective. You could be a part-time professor here at Hofstra. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> well, he was a teacher, so it makes sense. But yeah. See, I, I was on the right track. All right, we're going to move right along. Um, we've got our very own sailor, Jake, our weatherman today. We're going to be following along to see our, our members out in the control room. So step right out here with me. Oh, we've got some of our members right here. Ladies, Hello. what are we wearing? Hi. Can I get your names? Can I get your positions here in the Hofstra yeah, today? What are we wearing? Yeah. So we are doing an e-board costume. We are all the Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. So I am the Lullaby League, and this is what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I love it. We see the vision. We get it. Yeah. Um, I'm Alex. I'm also a package producer uh, for Hofstra today, and this is me. I'm the Lollipop <laughs> Guild. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And the coordination, yeah. we, we love that. We're going to move right along. Thank you. Um, so, as you can tell, myself, I'm a little bit out of this world. If you can tell, we're going to find some more folks, and we're going to talk to some of our crew members. Guys, what do we have on today? Can we get your name, your position here after today, and what are we wearing? Sure, so I'm Savannah, one of the social media managers. And I'm Aiden. I'm the other social media manager. So we're supposed to be the Wicked Witch. Um, I lost my hat. It fell off of my broomstick on the way here. So we just but we got the green. green. We got the evil. We got the. And yourself? And I am her flying monkey. So. Oh I'm my like, gosh! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you for your time, everyone. All right, we're gonna move right along to our first control room. Right outside, we've got the Tin Man, Scarecrow. Guys, can I get our names, our positions here at Hofstra today, and why are we wearing what we're wearing? Um, my name is Erica. I'm the production manager for Hofstra today. Um, I'm wearing the scarecrow because the three of us decided we're like the team for production managing stuff. And yeah, just went with that. I'm Nicholas. I'm an APM for Hofstra today. I decided to wear the Tin Man because we wanted to go Wizard of Oz. I spent 70 bucks on it, not knowing that it was going to be this much, and I can't return it. Aww. So I'm stuck in this suit for a bit, but uh, love it. Yeah. Love it. I'm Julianne. I'm an APM, and I'm supposed to be a lion. A lion. I love it. She's got the curls, the mane. Um, why Wizard of Oz? Are we fans of, of the show, of, of, you know, the creation of that world? What is it? I think it was just a big cast of characters that the entire crew could be a part of. Yeah. Also, it's the Wizard of Oz. I mean, everyone loves it. It's like a childhood memory show, so. I agree. Yeah. Love it. The Wizard of Oz. We're getting a little wild out here. It's going to be up to me to decide who wins the costume contest. Back to you at the desk. And thank you to Fatima and our crew. We love seeing all these amazing costumes. Later on, we'll be back up with Fatima to reveal our winner. But first, when we come back, we'll be creeping it real with your entertainment news update. Don't go away. Every day, thousands of kids start vaping. And I can't let this happen to my kid. Of course, it's awkward to talk to kids about the dangers of vaping. Hey, bestie. How sketch is me? It's hard to get their attention. Ready? Go. Yes. Look at that. You, you, you even turn yours over. So if you want to talk to your kids about the dangers of vaping, you have to get it trending. Right, Backpack Kid? Let's do it. 
First, invite your kid to do the vape talk. Let's try this. All right. Why is he here? Yeah, I gotta get it trending, no. honey. Come on. Honey, can we talk? Yeah, what's up? I see a lot of your friends vaping. Visit talkaboutvaping.org for tips on when and how to have the vape talk. Welcome back to Hofstra Today. Olivia Remusat is here with your entertainment update. Let's go, ghouls. Come watch Hofstra students perform Shakespeare's classic revenge tragedy. Introducing The Play's The Thing, a one-hour Hamlet written by William Shakespeare. Directed by Carrie A. Prep, performances will be running during the 75th Annual Shakespeare Festival on Thursday, November 7th at 8 p.m. and Saturday, November 4th at 2 p.m. at the Joan and Donald Schaefer Black Box Theater in Shapiro Family Hall. All Hofstra students and staff are invited to attend for free with no advanced registration required. Outside guests can attend with an online reservation. Hofstra's annual dance marathon will be taking place Saturday, November 4th at 5 p.m. Dance Marathon is a philanthropic event that raises money for Cohen Children's Medical Center. The event will feature performances, games, and of course, lots of dancing. Teams can be created through making a donation at the link in HU Dance Marathon's Instagram bio. Last year, the event raised $11,700, so make sure to do your part by signing up now. Masquerade Musical Theater and Ambiguity Improv are getting into the spooky spirit by putting on their annual production of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Performances will take place on October 30th at 8 p.m. in Spiegel Theater and October 31st at 8 p.m. in the Student Center Theater. Tickets are $10 at the door and are first come, first serve. Ahead of their upcoming performances, Hofstra today sat down with the cast of Rocky Horror to learn about their production. Take a look! <laughs> Rocky Horror is basically just a total trip. Brad and Janet <laughs> um, are a married, a newly married couple who have a flat tire and come across this mansion full of a bunch of wacky characters, and they kind of get sucked into the wackiness. Wacky and weird experiences that the normal person would be like, let me just get out of here, but the, they're just like, no, I think we're gonna stay. And they, they learn a lot about like their life, I guess, and learn about themselves as well. It goes crazy from there. <laughs> Everyone in the cast is so high energy and excited and having a blast, so it's a lot of fun to work on with them. We're really funny, so you should come see it. It's a wild experience, and it's so fun. It's a show that you, you, you don't really have any boundaries. You kind of kind of just go outside the box and just be like that little freaky side of you, you know? And a lot of the times, the shows sometimes they're like, you gotta do this, gotta do that. And you really have to stay within the boundaries, but with this show, you kind of kind of explore your own ideas, and I really like that. Uh, so I played Dr. Scott, and I just had a lot of fun, like kind of playing around with the character. He's a little more on the serious side, but that doesn't like stop me from having fun with this character towards the end, so. You can see the show on October 30th and 31st at 8 p.m. On the 30th, we'll be in the Spiegel Theater, and on the 31st, we will be in the Student Center Theater. Tickets are $10 at the door, and it's gonna be a blast, so you should totally come. Stick around for some fantastic sports updates with Julia Cavanaugh. Even though we didn't grow up together, he's my favorite brother. Hey, sis. I'm the baby of the family, and he's the gentle giant. What you know about poor Georgia? Man, please, that's a classic. You know when they say people Boy, are a rare breed? Yeah, he's that. I'm sorry, I'll be back. Sure, you know I'm for you. I know. Go get the football. Yeah. 
that was my favorite memory. It was always for you. This is a true story of me, Bridget Floyd, and this guy, George Perry Floyd Jr., my big brother. Treats, no tricks. Julia Cavanaugh is here with your Hofstra Sports update. What's up, sports fans? I'm Julia Cavanaugh, and here's what your Hofstra Pride has been up to. We'll start out on the pitch where the Pride soccer teams have been blue hot all year long. Women's soccer took down the Monmouth Hawks last Thursday, 2-0. Millie Davies and Thorhildur Thorhall's daughter provided the insurance needed to secure the win. On Sunday, the Pride were down in Maryland to face Towson for the regular season finale. Despite the 2-0 loss, the team earned the number two seed in the CAA tournament and will play either Monmouth or Stony Brook this Sunday at 1. Men's soccer notched a 1-0 senior day victory on Saturday over Drexel. The Stars came out to play as Ryan Carmichael scored the eventual game winner thanks to an assist from Elliot Goldthorpe. Wessel Spiel made five saves, including an upper 90 reaching dive to keep the pride ahead. They have made their way back into the national rankings and sit at number 22 overall. They'll be back in action on Saturday to face Northeastern and a chance to clinch the number one seed in the conference tournament. Now on to the courts where Hofstra Volleyball has been busy. They dropped the weekend series against Delaware by scores of three sets to two and three sets to zero. Despite the losses, Beatrice Alves became just the sixth player in program history to reach 3,000 assists. This weekend, they'll face Campbell and try to regain their spot in the CAA tournament. That's all for your Hofstra Sports Update. Now let's kick it over to Fatima Moen to see how our crew has had the best costume. Thanks, Julia. The time has come to announce Hofstra today's first ever costume contest winner, and it's the Tin Man himself. Nikki, how does it feel to take home the gold? We cooked over here. Oh, indeed we did. I mean, I expected nothing less. I'm just going to say one thing. When you're a tin man, you got a heart of gold, and obviously, I found my heart. I love it. Back to you at the desk. And that is all of the time we have. Thank you so much for tuning in for this terrifyingly terrific episode of Hofstra Today. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Hofstra Today for some fun video updates. Until next time, that's all at and around Hofstra today.